Local activists say there's a culture of violence among a unit within D.C.'s police department, and they're demanding at least a dozen officers be disciplined. Good afternoon, I'm Larry Miller. Bruce Lashan was at this morning's news conference, and he joins us live to explain why. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Larry. Yeah, it is the second time in a week that activists say they have uncovered patches, banners, imagery they, they say betrays a culture of violence and racism here in the Metropolitan Police Department. Last week, it was a T-shirt that used a symbol that is used by white nationalists worn by a Metropolitan Police Department officer in Superior Court here that the activists took the picture of. Now they've got uh, a dozen complaints going into the Office of Police Complaints here uh, today talking about another image that they're alarmed by. This is the image here. It is for the Narcotics and Special Investigations Division. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a skull and crossbones, and right in the middle of the skull is a gunshot hole. And there are two guns here, handcuffs, and down here it says, vest up, one in the chamber. Uh, the activists say this revels in the kind of violence that the police officers should not be reveling in. But take a look also at this image uh, of this T-shirt that was out last week. Uh, in that T-shirt that was worn by the police uh, officer here at court and that the chief of police called disgraceful, the officer ended up being suspended, there is, are the words power shift. And inside the O in the words power shift, there is a cross. You probably can't see it very well, but it is an archaic cross that is used often these days by white nationalists. And that is what has the uh, one of the things that has the activists so alarmed. How can the residents of the District of Columbia, which is an extremely diverse area, feel at all safe knowing that there are units that use racist imagery, that there are multiple units that are now celebrating a culture of death and some even celebrating kill shots? What is going on inside the Metropolitan Police? How is it possible that people can feel any form of safety in a diverse city like the District of Columbia when we know that we have these police officers with these views? Now, and I should say also. Now, the officer who was uh, wearing that T-shirt that potentially had the white nationalist symbolism, he has been suspended at this point, but we're still waiting for reaction from the police department and from the police union on this latest image. The mayor's office said that she feels this way, just as she did uh, last week in talking about the Terrence Sterling case. The relationship between our officers and the communities they serve is built on trust. That trust exists when we hold everyone accountable. We'll have more coming up. At uh, the Metropolitan Police Department headquarters, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.